Okay, I've been walking now for the last two hours. There's one thing I gotta do. I gotta stop listening to the news, CBC, when I want to relax because my blood pressure goes up. Now, oh, it's really quiet here. Uh, they're talking about, again, about the two guards that were charged to pepper spraying that inmate at the Dorchester, Dorchester Penitentiary and he died soon after. They're talking, they're asking questions, but this happened. The guy was from Cape Britain, Cap Breton, first from Nova Scotia. But how come when somebody dies in the fed federal penitentiary in Dorchester is big news, huge news. He's not even from this province, but it's huge news. The two guards, there wasn't enough evidence to proceed to trial. Michel Viennot, yeah. Now, but when an inmate dies behind bars in a provincial jail, nothing. Absolutely nothing. News for a couple of hours, and that's it. Caroline Warnock. We have a native from St. Mary's First Nation that went to CBC News two years ago. And she said she was right next door to Caroline next cell over and the guards just ignored her. No inquest, no nothing. <clears throat> the Department of Public Safety, there's some bad people in there, including the Deputy Minister, Michel Camon. Under his watch, people are dying behind bars. Uh, Serena Woods was forced to walk home in the storm. The deputy minister is giving these orders. I hear he's from Fredericton. He's, he's uh, involved with the harvest and jazz. So therefore we know the attitude about the less fortunate focus trials. How come when somebody dies behind bars? Absolutely nothing. Nothing is said. Public safety went to Caroline Warnock, grandparents, because her mother died earlier. I cried with the grandparents and that was it. It's crazy. So, how come we don't investigate our provincial jails? How come? I know when I was in jail for three days with that blowhorn in 2012, the, uh, they, they took my inhaler away from me. They took the inhaler away from me. That's what happens. I could have took a stroke and that would have been it. So why are officials like Deputy Minister Michel Camon allowed to get away with murder? Why? If I don't get home soon, I'm the one that's going to die.